turn this off. So at this time, we're going to recognize some of our past board members. Um, there's two years worth of, resi or I shouldn't say resignations, uh, retirements, because of last year, COVID, couldn't recognize the guys last year. Uh, but first, I'd like to start off with uh, the first guy retired in 2021, Master Farmer, Bill Hunt. Would you come up, please? If there's anything such as a rock star in farming, it's Bill Hunt. Uh, Crop City grows his wheat, corn, and soybeans. He was appointed to the Michigan Wheat Program in 2011, 12, 15, and 18. About farming, Bill says that not all people know what they want to do in life. I knew I wanted to be a farmer from an early age, but I wanted to be a good farmer. I believe farming is a passion. You either have it or you don't. Quote, I strive for continued education for farmers, especially myself, so I can do the best possible job as it relates to efficiency, marketing, and good stewards of the land entrusted to me. I believe I have one of the best jobs on earth. I have a part in feeding the world, and I am proud to be an American farmer, unquote. In addition to serving as owner and president of Hunt Farms in Davison, Hunt served until he was term limited on the Michigan Wheat Board. He served as vice chairman and also chairman of the board. He also serves on the county committee for the Farm Service Agency and a vice president of the Genesee County Farm Bureau. Thank you, Bill. Okay, next is Art Leffler, but Art could not be here today. Uh, he was appointed to the Michigan Wheat Program in 2011, 12, 15, and 18, and bringing the marketing side of wheat business to the board was Art. He was the chairman of the board of the Star of the West Milling Company, but again, he could not be here today. All right, uh, next is Mark Hasnick. Wanna come up, please? He was off the board in 2020 and was appointed in 2017. Mark Hasnick appointed to the Michigan Wheat Program Board of Directors by Governor Snyder in May of 17. Hasnick farms with his father and brother on their 70 acre plus, excuse me, 70 plus year old family farm in Springport. His emphasis for precision and technology, efficiency and soil health have resulted in alternative strategies that push the envelope in, of traditional management for growing wheat, soybeans, and corn. And if you've ever seen any of their videos, they're pushing the envelope. In his community, Hasnick is an active supporter in the Springport FFA and serves on the Springport AgriScience Advisory Board. He also holds a BS in Crop and Soil Science from Michigan State University. Hasnick represents wheat growers in the south, southwest of Michigan district. Let's give it up one more time for Mark. Okay, and lastly is Dave Milligan. Come on up, Dave. Dave is no stranger to state leadership positions. Dave was chairman of the Michigan Wheat Program Board of Directors from the board's first meeting in December of 2011 until he was term limited off the board in 2020. Dave was appointed to the Michigan Wheat Program Board by Governor Rick Snyder after having served on the developmental committee for the checkoff. Dave chaired both the Michigan Bean Commission and also the American Dry Bean Board and has served on numerous state committees through the Michigan Farm Bureau. Dave and his wife, Christine, own Milligan Farms LLC, which annually, annually grows more than 4,000 acres compromised of wheat, corn, soybeans, and dry beans. Dave's son, Mike, is joining the operation and Mike is here today. So. Thank you very much, Dave, for all that you've done. Okay, Dennis is up next. 